Hey everyone, Kyle once again, aka Jurassic, aka Jurassic Godzilla fan. Welcome back to another movie review. Um, and I'm and I'm real and I'm going to enjoy doing this review because I'm reviewing another all-time classic, and it's another also an all-time classic uh, film for that I, that I absolutely loved from my childhood. One of the main ones that I that I, that I, that I grew up watching, and. Like I said, and also I say, you know, it's it's another Disney, another Walt Disney, another Walt Disney film. I said, uh, I said, I've said this again and again. You can like whatever you want, you know. You know, you can choose to like whatever you want, whether it's Disney or not. Because I'm, I'm saying, be honest, you no, know, I have to say, pretty much most of everybody grew up with Disney, you know. I grew up with Disney a lot. And this is only, and I'm going to really enjoy doing this one because this is one of the, one of the all time my all time favorite uh, Disney uh, one of my all time favorite Disney um, films that I that I grew up watching you know and I still and I still watch it today you know people can make fun of me all all they want you know like I said I don't make fun of people for liking a Disney film because you know but Disney's a part of everybody's life you know especially when they especially growing up as a kid you know and. And it's like I said, but but for those who yeah, you you it's like you make fun of me for liking it. Oh, I'm I'm oh I'm I'm old I'm older now. I still I I still watch kids films, you know. That's not gonna that's not gonna stop me. I'm always gonna watch Disney films, you know, especially old Disney films, you know. And and let's go. And I'm reviewing. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Yep, I'm reviewing Winnie the Pooh. Now, like I said, this is one. This is one of the main. Was one of the, this is one of the main show of uh, I that it's one of the main shows. Well, it's three stories. It was a show or a movie, you know. But this is one of the, one of the most classic Disney characters that I grew up watching. I absolutely love Winnie the Winnie the Pooh to death, you know. And I'll always love Winnie the Pooh forever, you know. Love, love the characters. Love, love everything about. I always love everything about Winnie the Pooh, you know. And like I said, um, when I did my, uh, for those who remember, if I, when I did my video on my, um, my, my, uh, my uh, packagings, I received DVDs that were from the shows of the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, you know. Like I said, you get. Like I said, I'm always gonna watch Winnie the Pooh for the for like for as long as I live, you know. You know, never gonna forget it. And I'm always gonna continue watching Winnie the Pooh. But this is why, but this is why I grew up watching, watching the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. You know, and and before that, I you know, you know, where a lot of people want, remember, you know, came out with you know, story, you know, the the the, 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 the old videotapes, you know, you know, the different segments, you know, story time with Pooh, you know, or uh, Winnie the Pooh sharing with sharing and caring, or play time with Pooh, you know. This is the, and and um this, the 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 the, the way, main of Winnie the Pooh is the basically the story the story story time of Pooh you know it's you know when they were they're in the book you know they're in the story you know um but and when and uh, it was oh it opened up and it opened up on March 11th 1977 very old at the time you know so this is very this is a very old Disney old Disney film, you know, it got it got critically acclaimed, you know, has a 7.6 on IMDb, and has like a 90, 92% has like a 90, a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. I think it's fantastic because I don't I don't more I don't more to say, you know. What can what can I say about Winnie the Pooh? If anybody, if anybody out there who enjoys Winnie the Pooh or loves Winnie the Pooh, you know you know what I mean, you know. What can I what can I say about Winnie the Pooh? He's absolutely lovable character, you know. And but but I'll get I'll get, get, I'll, I'll get back about get into the plot, you know. So it open it, it opens up, you know, uh, viewing a, a a bedroom of the room of Christopher Rob Christopher Robin, you know, and showing all his toys around the room, showing the, the stuffed animals of our of our characters, you know. You know, you see the stuffed animals of Tigger, Piglet, Kanga, Eeyore, Owl, you know. And, you have the, and then you have the narrator, you know. Um, 
the, the narrator by Sebastian Cabot, you know. I've always enjoyed this narrator, you know. He narrates, you know, how this this um this this small room is a room to, for for any but little boy, you know, but his name is Christopher Robin, and sitting by the wind, window is a bear. It's a bear called Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh for short, you know. And next to him is is the book, and it opens up and it uh, shows all of our all of our characters, Chris Robin, all of the characters inside the book, and the fame. You have the famous, the most fame, the most famous, um, the Winnie the Pooh song, you know, which I've always. I've always sang, you know, again and again, you know, because I absolutely love the song, you know. So it goes into so it goes into the first story called uh, Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. Um, so Mr. So Winnie the Pooh, you know, he does his exercise, you know, to sing the song up, down, touch the ground, you know. Um, so his he's out of honey, so he go tends to climb, tends to climb. Honey tree, but he fails, falls down. So he goes to Christopher Robin's place, where he's fixing Eeyore's tail, you know. Um, then he, uh, then Pooh Poo arrives, and he's asking if he wants to borrow this balloon so he can float up, so he can float up to the top of the tree. And but first, you know, he rolls in some money, no, pretending to be a, you know, sing well, sing that song. I'm just a little black rain cloud, you know. And he ends up actually swallowing a handful of bees, you know, you know, buzzing around in his head, you know, like spitting him out, poo, 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 you know. <laughs> um, but the bees get the bees get angry. They attack him. Um, the balloon deflates. He falls down. They get chased by the bees, and they they, they jump. In, they both they both him and Chris Robin jump into the mud puddle. So he so Pooh has to find a way to get honey. So he goes and visit a, another friend, Rabbit. Um, ra- a rabbit. Um, which ra- um, well, I'll I'll get to but I'll get I'll get to that part. I'll get to the part in a little bit. So he goes to visit his friend Rabbit, and you know, asking you know, oh, you know, I always oh, it was always asking, always asking from, always asking for honey from him, you know, saying how about lunch, you know, you know, he's always gonna say that, you know. So he so he gets invited, kicks all of his eats all of his honey, you know. The narrator you know, flipping the pages, you know, and eat and eat and eat and eat until there's something left. And he ate so much honey, you know, he he gained he gained a lot of weight. He can't fit through out his fit through the door, you know, the the rabbit hole, the rabbit hole is front door, you know. He gets stuck. He gets stuck there though. Um. So the he the uh, um, rabbit runs to get help for Chris Robin. They try to tug him out, but it's no use. So they're so he's going to. Have to Who's about to stay there and wait till he gets thin? Um, and owl, an owl fl- 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 flies in. He's like, "Oh my, you are stuck, you know." And then, and then Gopher pops up, you know. Gopher, you know, somebody calls um. Oh, what was that word? I forgot what I forgot what the word. So somebody called for um something, you know. Gopher's the name. Here's my card. I'm on the book, you know. So he goes and um, he tries to. Well, he says like, "Well, well." I was asking, "What is the cost?" You know, you know, so, um, what's the charge? Oh, about it goes like, "Oh, about like uh, six sticks of dynamite." And I was like, "No, no, no, the the the, the, the cost, you know, the m- money." Nope, I you nope, know, no, I can't do that. I work strictly cash, and you know, of course, you know, throughout you know, even through in this, you know, and even throughout the 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 series, you know, he's always having to fall into his holes without looking, you know, like. Whoa! You know, <laughs> but so 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 then it continues on. I know he has Pooh has to wait has to wait it out. Um, Gopher pops in when it's night time. You now tries for a midnight snack. Rabbit confiscates his honey. You know because he was gonna give it to Pooh, but <laughs> Rabbit puts on a, put a, pounds the sign out like don't feed the bear. You know, but then until until one morning. Uh, Rabbit, um, he he leans on Pooh, you know, and it's like he feels that he budged. Oh, it's the, today's the day, you know. Um. Oh well, one well, for another funny part before uh before all this um when he was when Pooh was stuck in the hole, a rabbit decided you know to make a 
he is always he lives as a stare at his um you know his behind you know and he tries to make use you know make it look like a a trophy you know look, look like try to make it look like a moose you know puts like sticks his antlers and tries to draw a face and it's like and it tickles when the poo messes up the smile like oh poo you messed up my moose and he tries to make you know put like a uh make it like a set some stuff there you know and make it look a nice make it look nice you know but um. Um, Kanga and Rue brought him some flowers, he sniffs it, and he sneezes, and everything breaks apart. And like, Rab's like, oh, why did I ever invite that bear to lunch? Why, oh, why, oh, why? <laughs> but, uh, getting back to the game, getting back to where, you know, this time, it was the day that they're going to pull him out, you know, sing, singing the song, hooray for me, you know. Um, so as as they're pulling, you know, t -tug, try tugging him out, you know, um, Gopher uh, pops up, tries to lend a hand, but, um, pulling on Rue, and he, Rue is holding on to Eeyore's tail, and his tail pops up, and Gopher falls back in the hall. Wah! Um, the rabbit get, uh, get, get backs up and gives a full charge, and he pushes Pooh out, and he gets launched, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I like this line, you know, you see Pooh just, just flying out, and Gopher is like, Suffer and Sassafras, you know, he's sailing clean out of the book, quick, turn the page, you know, he, so he does, he's, Gopher's telling the narrator to turn the page, you know, and he flies right into another high tree, scaring all the bees away, you know, I always, I always thought that was a real funny scene, especially about Gopher saying, you know, he's sailing clean out of the book, quick, turn the page, <laughs> so he was like, he was like, st stuck again, but they wanted to get him out, but Pooh's like, no matter, no hurry, take your time, because he's eating so much honey, he's eating a lot of honey in the honey tree, you know. And then we get into our next, um, the second segment, the next story, called, you know, Way of the Pooh and the Blustery Day, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's a very blustery day, you know, the wind is blowing hard, it blows, like, even blows up the, le the, the letters from the, the, the letters on the book, you know, saying, it like, it's a very blustery day today, you know. Um... Go for you know, he, he, he like Pooh is like in a stinking spot and go for telling him it's Wednesday you know so he goes and greets so, so Pooh decides to greet everybody Happy Wednesday you know because you know wind you know wind Wednesday yeah um so so he goes to, so he goes to um visit his um his best friend Piglet and uh, he introduces introduces Piglet who lives in a small house you know. Um, in a tree, and <clears throat> the narrator is explaining, you know, it's been, this, this tree's been in his family for, for a long time, you know, it has a sign that's, that's, uh, supposedly, um, Piglet's, uh, his grandfather's name, uh, a, a broken piece of sign that says, Trespassers Will, but I, but I believe, you know, if you read the sign correctly, it, if you, if you, if you know what the sign means, you know, it says, it's supposed to, supposed to say, Trespassers Will, I think it's either Trespassers Will be shot, you know, because, like, it's like a, uh, I guess like um, a preserved land or something like that. But if you know what the sign means, you know what it means. But that's why that's why I believe you know trespassers will be shy, you know. But they they took up they broke the sign parkers. You know it's Disney. You know they want to say give a violent message. You know for the kids to see. You know. <laughs> so so that's what the that's what Piglet says. You know this is, this is grandfather's name. Trespassers will. Um. So, but he's a, he's a real small animal, and the wind is blowing hard, he starts flying away, you know, and Pooh is trying to greet him Happy Wednesday, and is grabs him by a scarf, his scarf unravels, and he's flying like a, holy, and like he's flying a kite, you know, and they, they get blown all the way to Owl's house, you know, and lets him in, and his tree, and his home, and Owl lives in a tree, you know, his house is in a tree, he's moving back and forth because the wind is strong, um, then eventually as it does fall down, his house is ruined, and then Eeyore says he'll he he'll he'll find Owl a new house, and so then later later in the later later in the night, Pooh is trying to sleep. Though, but he hears noises. You hear a growl, which everybody know which everybody knows who it is. You know, you know. And when he finally opens the door, boom! Intr introduces introduces Tigger. The lovable, funny Tigger. He bounce, but just gives, just bounces right into him. He's like, "Hello, I'm Tigger. T I double go er. That spells Tigger." Um, and then he's able to see that, and 
you know, because I'm the only, I'm the only one, you know. As I, as, I, as anybody ever seen, ever anybody who's seen Winnie the Pooh, you know how Tigger says, you know. But this is my review, so I, I'll just say it anyway, you know. Um, so he leaves. He, 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 he Pooh's like, if you're the only one, then who's that, you know? The mirror, it looks in the mirror, you know. Doesn't know it's his reflection, you know. What a terrible looking creature, you know. I'll scare the stripes off of him. He scares himself when he got into the table. He's like, is he gone? Only except the tail. Oh, yep, he's gone. And he bounces, bounces him again. He's like, introduces himself again. Introduces himself again. And he says he's hungry, and he all loves his honey, so he tries to eat some. He's like, ugh, tiggers don't like honey. And he says he better protect you. He tells Pooh to protect his honey from heffalumps and woozles. Which Pooh says, you mean elephants and weasels. He's like, that's what I said. Heffalumps and woozles. And what do they do? Oh, no, they just steal honey. It's like, oh, steal honey, you know. Yeah. Well, gotta go, you know. And he sings, and he sings the famous song, you know. The wonderful thing about Tigger is he sings a wonderful thing. The tops are made of the rubber. The bottom is made of the springs. The bouncy, trouncy, fancy, fancy, fun, 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 fun. The wonderful thing about Tigger is I'm the only one. I'm the only one. So the layer of Pooh falls asleep and he has he has a dream a uh, dreams about heffalumps and woozles stealing all of his honey you know sings a little song you know um now the uh, song was um beware beware you know but then when he wakes up his house is flooded you know it's raining really hard and soon soon the hundred acre wood is completely flooded all except for Chris Robin Christopher Robin's Christopher Robin's house which the rest is um are safe, you know, and, and Eeyore's still looking for a house for Owl, and Pooh's flowing down the river, his head stuck inside the honey pods, and Piglet's, um, standing on a chair that's being drifted, and, and they're heading towards the war waterfall, and Owl's being too stubborn to see that, you know, helping, try not trying to help him out, though. They fall down the waterfall, but, and, um, Chris Robin tell him, Pooh, Pooh, you say Piglet, you know? So they ha so they give, uh, like a, a party, you know, I give him a party, like, hooray for Pooh, you know? Um, but then ER comes in and tells him he found, he found a new house for Owl, which is actually Piglet's house, because, <laughs> um, because you see, because ER reads the sign that's the, the name Will, Thing spells it spells it as sounding it sounding it as owl's name you know so so people is feeling very very sad but he he'll give the house his house to owls but Pooh um graciously um offers you know offers to stay with him you know to live with him you know and and then everybody's happy, and everybody's happy, and you know they're all tossing Pooh and Piglet on the blanket, and go for a possum from below, like, hey, what's all those rockets? And the and then Pooh and the Pooh and Piglet bounce down, and they hit go for back and down to the hole. He's like, ah. <laughs> so then he enter into the to, into the third and final uh, story segment, which is Winnie the Pooh and Tigger Two. So the story is obviously about Tigger, if everyone has if everyone has seen it, you know. So. So Tigger is bouncing, is bouncing, it started with Tigger bouncing, you know, he first bounces Pooh, then he bounces Piglet, and he bounces uh, Rabbit, who is, who is har who's harvesting his garden, and he bounces Rabbit, and all of his stuff, all of his vegetables fly over, and he's like, I was like Rabbit's like, oh, just look at my beautiful garden, and Tigger's like, yeah, messy, isn't it? <laughs> messy? It's ruined! It's ruined, Tigger! Oh, why don't you ever stop bouncing? And he's like, why? That's what Tigger do the best. So Rabbit holds a, a meeting, you know, with Pooh and Piglet, and tells him, you know, that it's time to teach Tigger a lesson. So he comes up with his his splendid a splendid idea, saying we'll take Tigger out into the woods, you know, for exploring, and then we lose him. So they all they all they all agree to it, you know. So they take him out into the woods, which is a little bit misty, you know. So as Tigger bounces further and further. Rabbit decides it's a good time to lose him. They hide under a log. Well, Tigger's yelling, Hello! Hello! You know? And... 
So the, the he's yelling, you know, looking, he's looking for them, and rabbits. You're feeling happy that he that he lost that he lost them, you know, and so they keep wandering. Um, they're, they're, trying, they're trying to find their way back home, but they keep finding in the the same sand pit, you know. And Pooh's like, you know, well, if well, if saying if if we keep finding if we keep on finding this pit, you know, we well, we keep on finding we keep finding our way back home, but all we keep finding is this pit. So I I would say, I'd say you know if we look for this pit, we might find our way back home. And Rabbit says, oh, of course I'll find it. I'll prove it to you. Wait here. So Pickle and Pooh uh, wait and wait, and Pooh's tummy, Pooh's tummy uh, um, rumbled, and he said. You know what? We'll we'll just follow my follow follow my tummy because my because my honey pots have been calling for him. You know, so so they let they let his they let his stomach fall, uh, lead the way, and which it does. They got out of the woods, but they broke the tigger again. So, but they just, but they know that uh, rabbit's not back yet, and tigger goes in to rescues him, and rabbit is lost. He's been hearing all these noises, it's driving him crazy, and. Tigger balances him. He says, "Oh, Tigger's never get lost." <laughs> and it's like Rabbit's like, "Oh no, you know." <laughs> so into the next. So uh, as I'm um, moving along into the, uh, the next page, you know, it snows. Um, and uh, um, Tigger's best friend Rue, who also loves to bounce with him, uh, he wants to go out and play with him. And what they do? The rabbit is ice skating on a frozen on a, on a frozen lake, um, and they see they see rabbit. And Rue asks Tigger, "Can Tigger can Tigger ice skate?" And he says, "Yeah, those diggers do the best." And he does. He just uh, goes. He sees skates on the eye, and he's like, "Say, this is a cinch." But he tends to bounce though. But he ends up losing his balance and going slow, slow, slow sliding, sliding towards rabbit. I think he's gonna bounce him. <laughs> which is actually, which is this time it's really an accident, and he falls on Rabbit and he slides over to the to the side of his house while Rabbit slides all the way into his house and wrecks everything in his house. It's like, oh, why does it always have to be me? And Tigger says, yuck, Tiggers don't like ice skating. Um. So the Roo asks Tigger, can he can can Tigger bounce this tree? And he says. He says, "Well, tiggers don't don't climb trees; they bounce them. So they bounce all the way top, and he sees all he bounces out of the book, and that's what he says. I almost bounced clear out of the book. So, which you know, they all know they're in a book. You know, they're in a storybook, which you know. But then he gets real scared from looking down. He's really high up, you know, and he's like, "Whew! I was starting to get seasick from seeing too much." And while and while the, the the narrator says we'll leave Tigger then the tree for a while, will they um um visit Pooh? You know, Pooh is like looking at the snow, looking at all these tracks, and he's which he's made when he and Pickle are making the track themselves, but he thinks the track is just being made by somebody by somebody else. Until they hear Tigger uh, <laughs> uh Tigger's cry for help, you know, and they see him, you know, and they get Christopher Robin and Rabbit and Kanga and um, so Chris Brum has the idea to get to get him down. So by holding onto his jacket as a as a as a safety net, Rue jumps down safely, and he tells tells Tigger to jump. And Tigger's like, hey, jump? Tiggers don't jump; they bounce. And Pooh's like, then bounce down. And Tigger's, oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> and and Rabbit, he he's all happy because you know, like. That's good, you know, because he can't bounce anybody up there, you know. So he's, he's like, you know, Big Tigger, you know, is like, if I get out of this, I'll probably promise I'll never bounce again. Rabbit's like, yes, I heard that, Tigger, I heard that. And then the narrator is talking to Tigger, and Tigger's like, say, who are you? <laughs> and he's like, and the guy's like, I'm the narrator, you know. And he tells the narrator to help him out of this tree. So the narrator he tilts the book on its uh, um. This this way and he's in a Tigger is holding the, is not like this you know so so he makes it so he says they never tell Tigger it's perfectly safe so they can sit on top of the letters uh the storybook letters you know and but then the narrator tilts the the book back the proper way and he slides all the way down 
he was just, and he just and he was so happy he was just about to bounce until Rabbit told him that he promised. And now he's all feeling sad and starts walking away and everybody's feeling bad, you know, and ask asking Rabbit, Do you feel bad, Rabbit? And he's like well, and he is starting to feel bad, so I guess I I guess I like Tigger the way he was too. So Tigger goes and bounces him again, you know, until oh, this is all. Thank you, Rabbit, and and he says, oh look, you got feet, you're a rabbit, you bounce, you know. He's like, oh yes, it's all. It's like everybody to bounce, you know. Everybody, come on, let's bounce, you know. And, and Tigger sings the song again, and, and that's and and that's the and that's the end. Of the last segment where it ends with Pooh and Chris Robin just walking along, you know, telling. That's the Chris Robin now has school, you know, he goes to school now, and tells him, Pooh, you know, we, you, you will never forget me, right? Even when I'm 100? And he says, no, never, you know? And that's in the book, he, he, the, the book closes in the year, the, 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 the Pooh doll wink, and he says, that's the end. And I always love, I always love Winnie the Pooh, you know? But also, I would love to, have to, one, have to make one, um, quick, uh, little, um, I wouldn't say error, but there's there was another there was another there was another there was another uh seg, store, story you know, which many people you know Winnie the Pooh and a day for Eeyore you know, but it's also part of the story the, the um story story time with Pooh you know, and this is not on the DVD this is not on the DVD, although this is not on the DVD then there is there's a picture here which I do know that is that is from that is from a story where Eeyore is he's he's laying in he's like floating down the river on his back you know this this scene right here that's you have this scene right here that's from Winnie the Pooh and a Day for Eeyore then how come it's not it's not in the DVD you know if you put that scene if you put that if you put that pic, that that scene right there you know, buying the, the people thinking that's that that that's in the DVD. You know, that's a little bit that's a little bit false advertising right there. You know, if you're not gonna put that segment on this DVD, then why bother showing then why bother showing this scene right here? You know, knowing that's that's in that that's in that story, but it's not on this DVD. You know, to me personally, I wish that that was on the DVD because if you put that if you put that scene right there, it should be in the DVD. But they don't, you know. So, so, so you had to, so you had to, so you had to bother wasting time finding it online on, like, on YouTube, you know, or or on the old VHS tape, you know, which sadly I don't have, but I like to get that one day, you know, the part of part of my old the way the Pooh VHS collection, though. So I have to watch it on YouTube, you know. That was that was a little that was that was a little thing that bothers me because you put that scene right there it should be on. That's from that story should be on here, you know. But yeah, well, it's what what we what can you do, you know. So that's my but that's like my little um little um teeny little nitpick right there, you know. Other other than that, but that that's not gonna bother me though, cause is that gonna is that gonna stop me from stop watching this? Heck no, you know. I'll, I'll not, that's not gonna bother me one little bit. I'll just, I'll just be patient and I'll just buy it online, you know, buy the old VHS tape online, you know, and watch it, you know. I'm not gonna, well, I'm not gonna be able to who over, who's gonna overreact like, oh, you know, god dang, you know. But I'm just, I'm gonna just be patient. I'll, if I'm gonna choose to get it, I'll get it, you know. But like I said, like I said, I have I have no problem. I I always I always say as well uh, as one of my all time favorite Disney uh Disney um not di all time Disney films, but one of my all time favorite uh, favorite stuff from all time favorite childhood things I love from Disney. You know, this is why this is absolutely what I, what I grew up with. This is one of the things I grew up loving and watching. You know, watching the old watching the the, the old stories and the the the, 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 and the TV show and the TV show. The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which I, which I, which I showed um, when I did my unpackaging videos, you know. But sadly, the the but sadly they don't release the the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh on on a special um um all the seasons on like on a complete series DVD, you know. Except you can only get few of the episodes from these, you know. Called Growing Up with Winnie the Pooh, you know, which is not titled The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. 
as you know, it just shows way hell way of growing up, you know, you're showing little things, you know, which we know, we know, you know. And this is they only show like a few episodes they only show a few like a few episodes, I would say. Combining all these, I would say it's like about ten or twelve episodes altogether on these. Or fifteen, maybe because I have to there's like there's, there's like there's like four episodes per DVD thing, so yeah, I think this is like Six, 16 episodes overall. I don't know why. Why is why is it so hard to not re to try not to release this show on DVD? There is all the uh, there is all these new shows on DVDs, you know, but but now releasing a, a classic old TV sh kids TV show on DVD, you know. Tell me that why? Tell me that why is why that's well, why that is so why is that so hard? What? Why? Why? Why is it so hard to release this all on a complete series DVD? I will never know. But again, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. They're not gonna listen to me. You know, there's. They're not gonna listen. They're not gonna. Listen, they're not gonna tell. They're not. Gonna, they're not going to listen to me. You know, they will just do whatever they want. You know, they just don't wanna. You know. I don't want. I don't want to say about that. But yeah, I just. Uh, but I, I'll just. I'll, I'll do with it with like as much as I can. You know, I can watch all the episodes or the rest, the rest of the episodes on YouTube anyway. You know. But anyway, back with this. I love it to this day. I always and I always will and I always will love it. And there's another thing I want to show you. Is actually, and I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm, I'm not going to be embarrassed to show you. I don't, because I don't care. I don't care. I'm not, I am not ashamed to admit it. See here. These are, these are the old, these, these are the, these are the, these are the stuff. Ones that I got while I was at, at Disney, at Disneyland. All the old characters. Just, just to show how much I love Way of the Pooh. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to admit it. You can laugh at me. Oh, you got stuffed dolls. Go ahead, laugh all you want. I'm not. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not embarrassed to admit. It. I'm not ashamed to admit it. So yeah. Because while well, well, I was at well, I was at Disneyland at the time, you know, I think what was it, 2008 or 9, I forget, or 2010. I I got went to the went to the, to the gift shop over there and I got myself the complete set. And it was a lot for all these doll for all these dolls it was a lot of money, but it was worth it. I'm trying to show all all at once here. Yeah, don't keep on keep on dropping them all. You get all of them. Yeah. Hey, if if you if you love if you love something that much, you you yeah, it's okay to get get up for all, all for yourself. You know, I'm not I'm not embarrassed to admit it. I'm not. So I just want to point that out. How how uh, how much that I loved. But that is love. That is love's growing up. You know. Anyone has anyone has any have like dolls or toys, you know, that's some of the grew up the grew up with, you know? Hey, you know that that's I I I'll be I pre I pre I appreciate if if you have any if you have stuff that you grew up with, you know. That's like good for you, you know. That's why that's why I loved growing up, and that's why I got them. It was definitely worth it was worth it was worth the money. And I'm glad. That's that's why I love grew up with. That's why that's why I, that's why I'm that's why I said I'm, I'm going to enjoy doing this review because this is one of my old time uh, childhood favorites. You know, 
This is one of my all-time favorite, all-time all childhood favorites that I'm never going to forget as long as I live. So, so that's my best. That's my that's my review of the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and hopefully, you know, hopefully next time, you know, the I'll review the sequel, which which people call a sequel or not, or it's a standalone story. I will review the 2011 film of the same uh of the name Winnie the, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh, not the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, but just just the name Winnie the Pooh. Which I'm also another film I'm going to enjoy doing. So, so thanks for watching. Take care, and and I'll see you all later. And like I said, I'm not afraid to admit it. So, if you want to leave comments of laugh at me, laughable comments at me, I don't care. I don't make fun of people for liking something like this. I don't. I'm not that person, you know. You can like whatever you want. Like I said. So thanks for watching. Take care and stay tuned for another for the next movie review. Later.